welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am heading into home bargains i do need to pick up a couple of bits i'm actually staying with my family for a couple of weeks and um i need to pick up some bits for them for my parents it's a brand new home bargains which i'm so excited to check out it's like new territory for me which is very exciting. So this is in a place called Retford, a town called Retford. So I'm gonna head on in. There's also a garden world here at Home Bargains. Garden world at Home Bargains. I've never been to one of them before. None of ours in Burnley have them. So let's head on in. Make sure you're set and comfortable and relaxed. It is boiling today. So if it's hot where you are, grab a nice refresher. If not, grab something cozy and let's head on in. I always get a, uh startled by these police officers that they have okay oh my god it's huge i love the idea of the scented bin liners and they've got vanilla rose lavender and lemon but these ones are just for swing bin liners so i need the bigger ones i've also spotted this which i might get because i feel like our oven needs a real deep clean i've not tried the elbow grease one for convenience with wearing a mask and making sure the audio is best quality, I ended up deciding to do a voiceover for this. So loads of summary products in store, lots of SPF, self tan, that kind of thing. And I also spotted this bag, which don't get me wrong, the pink pom poms aren't my thing, but you could easily trim them off and cut out the lining for a cute little straw bag. They also had these Birkenstock style sliders, which I loved, loads of barbecue bits and outdoor kind of eating places and crockery and all that kind of stuff. I also spotted these little terracotta plates which I thought would be ideal for tapas style dining. They also now stock EOS lip balms which you are getting a great saving with these. They're usually about six, seven pounds. So um, yeah, there were loads of different colors and flavors as well. And then loads of cute little stationery. They also actually had the Mrs. Hinch Little Book of Lists for $4.99. I didn't get that on the vlog, but um, well worth a look if you haven't already got one, which I already have. Loads of car scents as well from their Wickford & Co, which there were some beautiful scents in there that I was very tempted for, but I also spotted these unstoppable ones, which I'm sure will work really, really well. Into the aisle of dreams, the cleaning aisle, the Mrs. Hinch aisle, I go a little bit crazy when I go down here and look at every single product, every scent, as I do with the candles as well, and the little votives that they had, had some cute little Christmassy scents, which I did get a couple, so you'll see at the end of the video. Loads of minky bits, and then they've got these new minky pads, which are for kitchen and bathroom. There were some elbow grease um, of the tough stain ones as well, which I have owned previously and loved. One day I would love for my Zaflora collection to be this big. And to be honest, it's not far off that. I also spotted this scrub mummies that they've now got in gray and white, which will be great for those like me who like an aesthetically pleasing home, kitchen, even cleaning cupboard. And then they also had these little uh, wash bags, which are really, really handy. I actually already have several. Again, the fact that they're all white is just a, a added bonus. Um, and then I also spotted this lint remover, which I actually have the minky version, which was a lot more expensive than this, but maybe worth a try if you wanted to try one out yourself and get a more affordable option. Loads of gray and white boxes and, you know, just storage pieces, just really handy if you like to keep things organized and clutter free. The fact that they're all neutral themed, neutral colors as well is an added bonus. And these are my shoe boxes that I use in my wardrobe. Really, really super handy to have. They are stackable as well. They also stock this Villaroy and Bosch uh, cookery kitchenware, which I've never seen before, which is, you know, quite a pricey brand. So I was very pleasantly surprised when I spotted these. Again, more cute stationery, weekly planners, to-do lists, all that kind of stuff. If you are a fan, then you will love the stationery section in Home Bargains. 
This things to do today list is one that I have bought several occasions. It's only £1.49, mega bargain and so useful. And then this is also where I got my decorative glass jar from. I have the smaller one, the 25 centimeters one, and I keep mint imperials in at this time of year. And as we get to Christmas, maybe some white gold Lindor chocolates just to add that luxe element. I also spotted loads of new furniture, which I've never seen before that stepping stool I've never seen that I have spotted these marble effect nest tables which are really handy if you're tight on space and want to have the two tables but be able to stack them away nice and neatly when not in use I've also never spotted this cosmetic case before I thought that was really handy especially if you have a large makeup collection Yes, I spotted a Christmas tree. Let's just bypass that for now. I also spotted these glass and chrome lanterns. They had a small one up top and a larger one on a bottom shelf at $14.99. Love them. I think they look so expensive. And then I also love the look of this wire basket. I love the fact that the handles are like a brass color. Moving on out now to the garden section. I wasn't that impressed. There wasn't that much out here to be completely honest with you, but I didn't really know what to expect having never seen one of these before. But they did have some really nice white marble style kind of silhouette structures, some terracotta plant pots. And then I did also spot these little wooden kind of pergola garden shed type things as well. And um, yeah. Worth knowing that they're there, but won't be buying myself. And always, last but not least, you can't go to Home Bargains and not have a look at the snack section. They have some amazing selection of stock like these new dairy milk chocolate bars and some Reese's Puffs, yum. I am back, back in the kitchen, one second. Ugh. So I did pick up a couple of bags worth of bits. Nothing too, well, I say nothing too interesting. I love home bargains, so for me it's interesting anyway. Ooh. Hopefully some of you guys find it interesting. However, this isn't so interesting. Just picked up some bread, cucumber, and cherry toms, because I like to have cucumber and tomatoes with um, hummus which we've already got in the fridge. I picked up another one of these storage containers just because I find them really useful and I don't have many of the smaller ones. I've got enough of the bigger ones, the 2.3 litres, but this 1.7 litre one, just airtight container, nice and white and neutral and then I usually Dymo label them up to whatever they have in them, dishwasher tablets, food, whatever it may be. And then I did pick up one of the elbow grease oven cleaning kits because I'm intrigued to try it out. I love elbow grease anyway. So this one is new. It includes the cleaning stuff for the racks and grills. Let me see how much this was. That was $1.99 and the square lock was also $1.99. So I also picked up some of these cute little Yankee Candle wax melt scents. Now we all know I'm a fan of Christmas and autumn, so I did pick up one Christmassy one in Frosty Gingerbread, because it smells really spicy. Sometimes I find with Yankee Candles scents, they can be quite sweet and sickly, but like I said, I like the kind of warmth, but the more spicy scents. Anyway, I also got spiced pumpkin. These are all 89p each, by the way. And they have loads of other scents as well. And then this one is a bit sweeter, but I love the color of this one. In a nice white wax melt burner that I've got at home. Mm. This one is in sweet maple chai. Yum. That spiced pumpkin and frosty gingerbread. Is it too early? I don't think so. I also picked up some of these limited edition scents in fresh apple. These are dishwasher tablets from Finish. These are usually really pretty good discounts for what you would ordinarily pay like in a supermarket for something like this. These ones were only 4 dollars for 36 tablets. Yeah, 36 tablets in fresh apple. So yeah, I love apple scents in the home. Speaking of apple scents, I've seen these new Robinsons uh, cordials that they do in these glass bottles, but in home bargains, they had them in like a seasonal scent, crushed apple and cinnamon. 
yum and this is like the winter edition it says but it also says you can enjoy it um yeah here try me warm so not only could you have like a refresher during the day like at this time of the year as it gets a bit cooler and on cozy nights you can have this with hot water and it would be such a nice treat so that was actually only 49p and then i got this more to put in my coffees this one is one of their syrups i've seen these recently i think they're fairly new in and they've got loads of different flavors but i picked up cinnamon which is in number two natural flavoring they're from the brand splendid syrup suitable for vegan sugar free oh, i didn't know they were sugar free okay brilliant sugar free in this you get 250 mils for one pound I think that's a pretty good bargain you could maybe get like the whole collection and have them stood next to each other i think that would look really nice so that is everything that i picked up not too much i did have a good browse though and it's quite nice going to a new home bargain store if you're a regular goer of like the stores like tiki max b m home bargains those sort of homeware shops it's nice to try the same shop but in a different town because it's like a whole different layout it feels like a whole new store um experience and everything so yeah really enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed it too let me know in the comments below and let me know if i'm too early to be talking about all of these because sometimes i get a bit excited for autumn okay thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it like if you did and subscribe for more leave my instagram handles down below if you did want to follow me for more regular daily updates and i hope to see you all in my next video Bye guys.